Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Goodwill bins haul. Um, if you haven't seen how the San Diego bins works, I will leave a link down below of my video explaining how it works. Um, prices have changed, a little bit has changed, uh, but I was there for both sessions today, so I am going to be doing another haul after this one. The first haul that I'm gonna go through is what I got per piece. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is take the combination of the day, how much I spent and how many pieces and just get my cost of goods that way. Um, yeah. Also, my bins never used to have shoes and now they have shoes, but they're still pretty pricey. I'll go over those in a second, but yeah. So I'm going to go through this video as, or this haul as fast as I can. Um, let's get started. I will start with the shoes. So heels are two dollars i believe or th three dollars but i got this pair of torrid they pretty much are in really good condition um i paid either two or three dollars for these they are a size six yeah size six um next i got these um converse the, these were seven dollars which is what i could have paid for them at my goodwill but my kid needs shoes so i just grabbed her a pair of these um Converse and then these were either two or three dollars. I can't remember one pair of the heels I think were two dollars and the flats were three dollars or something, but it's this pair of Sam Edelman um, Gladiator flats. They say they're a size eight and a half, but they look pretty big um, But they are in good condition. So I grabbed those also there were a pair of Jordans there um, and the comps on them looked really, really good, but and I was gonna and I bought them, but then I asked her to take them off because um, they were just too worn on the toes. So I was like, forget it, get rid of them. I can't sell them. So, anyways, let's get into the clothing. So I paid fifty one dollars for everything here, right there. Um, this is a pair of elevensies. I've never found these before. Um, size twelve uh, shorts, just like this coral color shorts this is a t-stars it's just a christmas sweater but who doesn't need a t-rex christmas sweater right uh, i found a couple of i was looking for more of them because i sold one of these before um and so i figured they would do good but it's the orange theory um so i found a couple of pieces of this but and it is, this is by Next Level. This is a size medium. Kind of that burnout look. This is by Cavio. I guess they have a couple different people or places that make their stuff. But this is also a size medium. Um, burnout. This is Orange Theory as well. It says it right there. Um, and then this is the last Orange Theory piece that I got. It's like this long sleeve hooded shirt. Um, right there, this is a size small. Uh, this is a pair of BDG, um, size 27 high, they call them the super high rise. Shorts, raw hem. This is... I love H81, size small petite. I got it more for like the, it's a dress and it's, you know, pretty spring inspired. Uh-oh. Oh no, that's okay. I thought the back thing was coming off, but, and it does have pockets. Uh, this is just a pair of semi-fitted Old Navy, um, size six dark wash jean shorts. This is a Torrid size three uh, tank top. It's got like the um, Paisley, or I'm sorry, is it Paisley? Paisley, yeah. But it ties in the back and it's kind of got this open back. I don't know why I grabbed this because I thought it was going to be cheaper than what it was, but it doesn't really matter. It's just this Batman towel and I could always use more towels. So I'll be, probably be keeping this. 
but it's this Batman towel, beach towel. This is a Pembroke Lane, size medium, long, open, dust in, duster cardigan um, with like these wide sleeves. This is Climawear. It's, it's a size medium. I didn't look this up just because sometimes my phone doesn't work all that great down at the bins, but it does have the thumb holes here. This is a pair of Levi's shorts, size 33, regular fit, 505s. So I was at one of the bins and something was telling me, turn around, turn around, look in that bin. And so I, this was just kind of like thrown to the side. And so I grabbed it and it is a Kate Spade dress, size 12. Um, doesn't look like it's missing the belt because there's no belt holes or anything. Um, it does have pockets. So I was excited to find that. Never found Kate Spade. This is a Lily Pulitzer size six. It's not the bright, vibrant colors, but it's still indicative. Um, there was a stain on it, but I think it's a stain that I can just wash out. Of course, now I'm not seeing it, but just this really cute dress. Perfect for the season. This is an Ann Taylor Petite Extra Small Petite, but it is a t long sleeve t-shirt dress. Button down. Um, this is a loft um, Ann Taylor. Did, there wasn't really like a lot to choose from this time, but my number did get picked both times. Um, right there, loft. It's just this like army green or sagey green sort of peplum button down pop over because it doesn't go, the buttons don't go down all the way. Long sleeve, lightweight. This is an Ann Taylor size 10. Um, side zip sort of canvas feeling skirt. This is for my kid. Um, it is a NASA 1981 long sleeve shirt by Neon Riot. Right there. Um, Found a couple of the these. This is We the Free. I don't know if this right here is the size, like this is it small petite or what? I don't know. I'll look at the other tag, but it's just a long sleeve sort of thermal top. This is a pair of Mason Jewels, size eight, white linen blend drawstring shorts. I don't know why I grabbed these, maybe because I thought the bottom was cute, but it's Material Girl Active. I don't know where these are from, but it's size medium, but they have the cute little um, sheer bows on the bottom. Hi. <laughs> this is a pair of Piranha size small. Um, drawstring army green, olive green, whatever you want to call them, pants that have like this raw hem at the bottom. They are stitched and then they have the raw hem. This is a Maeve dress size large. It's just a plain, there's the tag, um, red sort of quilted envelope or faux wrap or whatever they call that. Um, exposed zipper in the back, cap sleeve, dress. Here's another We the Free. 
thermal top that I thought that the sleeves were really cute. Um, this is a Gap size large. Um, I don't know if it's linen. Um, I'm not going to bore you with trying to find out. Looks like linen though, but there are these sort of beige color pants with the elastic at the ankle. This is a pair of Old Navy mid-rise red. Um, I don't know what size they are, but they're the Pixie. Uh, they're like an ankle or a capri pant. Almost done. There was a jacket there of this also, but I didn't want to pay up for it. Um, so I left it behind. Maybe I shouldn't have. I don't know. But it is Atlas. Size medium. Just this graphic tee. This is a free people size large, chunky sweater with these big buttons right there. This is Banana Republic size small, textured sweater, zip up sweater, cute. Here is another pair of Old Navy size 6. This here is Lucky Brand Dungaree size large, sort of floral, like this is retro, it reminds me of like the 70s. Um, long sleeve button down. This is a pair of J. Crew pajama bottoms. Size medium, cotton. I just found a small stain on them. Maybe that'll wash out. Pa a classic pair of 501 button fly, sort of a darker wash. Um, size 36, 32. Good condition jeans. This is a pair of Amber Crombie, Abercrombie and Fitch size four drawstring. The cool thing about these is that they have this little gap right here. And then when you draw, when you close it, it closes. So I guess it can like, it's adjustable, but it's got, these are almost like, remind me of like medical pants, but yeah, they're like a corally color. And then last is this. I think I might keep this for myself. Um, this label makes me feel drunk um, because it's blurry. Um, but it is just Special A. I know nothing about it. Special A size large. But they are overalls with distressing. And a little A right there in the pocket. So that is it for the first part of my bins trip. Um, there were 37, 38 pieces, and then I spent 51 because they charged me $2 for the jeans, um, but only a dollar for the jackets. And every time I go there, it's a different price. Um, somebody will charge me $3 for jackets and $1 for jeans. It just really depends on who's checking you out. I wish that they would get their shit together and kind of go pound wise because I think they're on crack like regular Goodwills. Why would at the bins you pay $7 like I did for a pair of shoes that you can pay $7 for at the Goodwill? Shouldn't it be cheaper at the Goodwill bins? I don't know. But anyways, so um, I'm going to total both of the piles up. So my total is 83 pieces that I got. Um, I spent 60, I think I said $64. Um, so I basically spent 80 cents per piece if I add everything up and everything is good to go. So if you um, liked this content or if you like this kind of content, go ahead and feel free to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. And yeah, that's, I got nothing. See you guys later.
Bye.